Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Joey Bridges. I am joined by my brother James. All right, uh, and by the way, good job everybody yesterday. We saw some shouts of what everyone was doing yeah. with their clients on Valentine's Day, and I thought Very that was cool. just uh, fantastic. And we did stop by the mailbox, and they did have awesome, you know, awesome rice treats. crispy treats. Yeah. So it was great. All right, uh, today. Now, it can't be more obvious, at least to James and myself, what Facebook wants you to do and what is what they're really pushing toward. Now, James and I had revealed this probably about six months back of what we saw as the most activity behind the scenes. Now, Facebook's new changes for fan pages have basically pushed to the forefront what the data was showing us anyway. Now, for those of you who are looking, uh, you know, I'm getting quite a few emails these days. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, uh, it will be a mandatory upgrade uh, in just a short moment in time, or maybe by the time you're watching, it's already done. Uh, on the fan page changes, there was uh, like kind of eight killer changes. Um, one of the more prominent one being photos. Photos. Uh, photos. Way, uh, way more prominent uh, than we were uh, going to be aware of. Now, we saw them very popular on the back end when we were looking at reporting. However, now... They'll be very prominently displayed at the top of each and every fan page. Yeah, and, and James and I had mentioned that we've been mentioning this for quite a while now. That you know, put po photos, put photos, put photos. Now, James and I were doing it for the interaction and for what it leads to the sales. Obviously, Facebook has moved this to the forefront. So here's the problem: when you don't put photos, it looks pathetic. Okay. Yeah, it shows some weird, it's kind of like, oh, add photo here. I'm like, wow, that's pretty it's bad. bad. Yeah, so it's bad. So as a business, uh, I'm remember, this is about generating sales, generating interest in your activities. And maybe you're thinking, well, I just have, you know, like one of our clients staffing. Okay, well, maybe you just have people who are working on the phones, you know, trying to find clients. That's great. Do that. Maybe you have some, maybe you take pictures of your marketing pieces. Something. Okay, we, you I, know. I, I like that. I think for some of the people who have actual brands, I think for some of those bigger companies, um, you know, your Coca Cola's, your Red Bulls, and whatnot, uh, I think they're going to just be able to smash mm -hmm. uh, with photos because they can put, hey, some of the latest stuff they've released. Uh, for those people who have sponsored athletes, they could put their athletes there. Yeah. Um, I think for the smaller, you know, smaller businesses that you could put some of your new product images, you could put, you know, even a piece like you developed, hey, that you're working on, you could put uh, the prototype. I think there's some killer, killer options that you can. Uh, how to take advantage of uh, with photos. Get your fans, get your uh, clients yeah, to submit, submit, submit pictures of themselves with your product, uh, using your product. Um, w here's what the problem is. If you don't put photos, it's going to look stupid. And because I've seen it, and that's what happens mm -hmm. is when you see the example without the photos, you're like, this looks ridiculous. And if you only have buy from me type stuff, it also does not look right. It, it just looks very imbalanced. It looks out of whack. So you need something to bring the conversation up. It's very... You know, in, in James' I opinion, we really like it from a very visual standpoint. Yeah. It, and it's a great way to have, think of them as all mini sales letters, mini, you know, advertisements for you. You can have little mini commercials and it can mix in with your customers so people can be enjoying it, advertising, enjoying it, advertising. It's a great way to be able to do it because of how they how they work that strip. If you haven't seen it, it's very cool. It's awesome. And I will say, being at the top, it, your your mouse kind of gravitates to want to click on them. It's so yeah. visual, you just want to click on them. And, and remember, although, you know, they may say a picture's worth a thousand words, type a description with your picture. That's where the rubber will meet the road because uh, you could have pulled you can put an awesome picture up there, write a description of it, and now, uh, like uh, Joe just mentioned, it can be basically a mini sales letter without even appearing like one. Yeah, so, by the way, ours is already upgraded, so if you want to yeah. go see that, facebook.com slash fan page system. Facebook.com forward slash fan page system. Uh, you can go see uh, what it, you know, the pictures across the top. And if you haven't upgraded yet, I would recommend upgrading. Okay, so that's what we want you to do today. Think of the photos that will uh, generate conversation for your business. Uh, on behalf of James, I'm Joey Bridges. To your success with your Facebook marketing.